Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, this week I'm skipping ahead and I am planning a week in summer, the week of 4th of July, obviously. This is, I think this kit is called um, Fourth from Sadie Stickers. I'm obsessed with it. I think it was such a beautiful 4th of July kit. I was so excited to get this and put it down. I used these same florals um, last year. Um, for one of my 4th of July spreads I did last year and I really um, I think they're really pretty flowers and I just love how she put the colors together it's like a oh by the way I'm showing you my spread from last year and that it was a similar kind of color scheme and florals um, I, if you can I don't know if you can tell but I actually originally tried to record this plan with me as a uh, voiceover or sorry a talk through plan with me but the timing, I, I just like didn't know what I wanted to do and whatever. So the first couple minutes, if it looks like I'm talking, <laughs> waving my hands around and stuff, I was, but I just ended up kind of not doing that because it just was, I was having trouble. Anyways, <laughs> um, what did I miss? Um, yeah, anyways, it's just a really nice kit from Sadie Stickers. I really like how the spread ended up turning out. Um, as always, I do PR for Sadie Stickers, so if you're interested in making a purchase from our shop, I have our link down below, and I have a coupon code and freebie. You can find all of that down below. Um, and then a couple other just qu quick disclaimers before I really jump into this spread here. Um, I am currently um, on vacation, so I am doing this voiceover, not in my home office. I'm, so I'm holding the microphone. I think you probably can hear the mic. I also thought that I had pictures of this spread on my phone before I left. Um, and I do not. So I don't have this in front of me. I tried to take like these really grainy, low quality photos on my, uh, like a picture of my laptop just so I can see what's coming in the spread. It's a, it's a pet peeve of mine actually, when people do voiceovers for their plan with these and they obviously don't have their planner in front of them. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to not have my voiceover sound like that. But, um, I figured you guys would rather see this plan with me up this week than have to wait another week or two before I'm uh, able to get a picture or have my planner in front of me. So apologies about that. I'm going to do my best there. Um, okay. I think at this point I'm still like laying down the base. I was still doing the talk through so you can kind of see my hands moving like I was talking. Um, I had so many fun 4th of July stickers for this, which made it really, really fun and... Um, you guys, if you've watched any of my plan with me's before, not any of them, but I've talked before about how I really love to do super themed spreads. I really love to do holiday spreads and I really love to have a bunch of foil deco that is all for the theme. And this is like a great example of that. I love doing 4th of July spreads, um, and getting all these fireworks and stars, et cetera. Um, I had really wanted to do more creative date cover deco up here and not do um, the date covers from the kit, but I didn't have anything in her kit format that that I felt like I was like inspired to do my own kind of freeform date cover deco with. I don't know. I had the journaling add on, um, but there wasn't enough of like, I don't know, like torn paper strips that all kind of went together where there were seven of them or anything. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I didn't feel like there was enough of the same of something that I could pull it all in to do the, the freeform date cover deco um, in the way I wanted to. So I ended up just using the the ones from the kit, the date covers from the kit and doing really simple with this really pretty um, garland, hanging garland um, and the florals. So I think it looks pretty like it turned out really well um but definitely not anything like super fresh or exciting by any stretch of the imagination um by the way the hanging deco uh foil deco is I think I can't remember if it's from the pretty pink coat or Sadie stickers but all of the like foil accents that I use pretty much are from one of those two shops so if you're looking for anything in particular um, it's from one of those two shops. Let me know if you have any questions. The Pretty Pinko has a sampler of some of the 4th of July stickers available in her shop and Sadie stickers. Um, if you're watching this the week that it's getting uploaded, she's having a birthday sale this upcoming week. And um, part of what she's doing for that is she's doing a 
a celebration themed two dollar tuesday and she's brought back the stars and stripes themed two dollar tuesday so a lot of the deco that i'm using this week is back this week only from sadie stickers if if you um need some celebration themed stuff or are also very behind <laughs> planning your fourth of july spread um yeah okay um by the way i just recorded most of this voiceover already and then my computer crashed with like a few minutes left of the voiceover and it only saved the first three and a half minutes so hopefully I edited it in a smooth enough way that you can't tell <laughs> where that happened but if I seem confused and being like did I say that already it's because I literally five minutes ago already recorded this and my memory is not good enough for me to know whether I said something in my last voiceover or this voiceover so apologies there um I hate when that happens because it just totally throws me for a loop I have the worst memory ever um okay so moving on to the sidebar here I took some stickers from the journaling kit and combined the arch with the stamp and the fireworks um I really liked the fireworks that were included in the journaling kit I wish I I'm hoping that shops will start to include more like large deco or add-on sheets where you can purchase some of the large deco like the strawberries and the fireworks and stuff I wish I had more of that to pull into the spread I think if I would have I would have been able to do more like creative stuff in the date cover area and just all throughout the spread but I like how this turned out um up there I think that was all really cute and then and the sidebar here I put down the full box I love that full box I think she did such a good job on the quote box for this one um and of course some of my favorite stickers in her kit are those little like half headers I love those I think they're so good there's been times where I've forgotten those are in the kit and forgotten to use those in the sidebar but not this week I made sure to pull them in because I really like them um and then I layered them with the uh, large torn paper I really like how like soft and delicate the pattern is on that because then I feel like I'm first of all it's just really pretty but I also really enjoy when shops have those kind of like not too patterned or bold um, torn washi strips in their journaling kits because I feel like I can layer my own stuff on top of it without stuff clashing or feeling too busy or whatever so um, I'm just taking some like that Panda Bird Design Scattered Layers square and then layering some deco um, to mark that we spent the 4th of July up in Tahoe like we do every year. <laughs> um, I also had pulled in the, if you look at that really large floral that I cut up to put on the side there, um, that is from the two little bees, well actually, long story, but so last year when I bought the two little bees kit that had the same like floral clip art, um, she had forgotten to release <laughs> uh, the florals whatever she did that but I was like oh no worries Sadie stickers has matching ones so I bought the Sadie stickers ones at the time they were really big um so then this year when when Sadie stickers released this kit with those florals I was like <laughs> looking at the floral sheet and the florals on the, sh the sheet that she released this year were like way small they were all super tiny and I was like well I want some bigger ones so that's why I ended up pulling out that two little bees kit and grabbing the old Sadie stickers florals because I needed a little bit of variation in the sizing there so um I also end up using some other stickers from two little bees throughout the week and I think it looks really great I don't think you can tell that they came from another kit because the colors matched so well I loved the colors in this that was one of my favorite parts so that like denim blue with the pink I just it's so pretty to me um okay so on to Monday up top I marked fourth of July all decoratively um you know the huge and then I marked that so I don't have I like we had spent earlier the week previous sorry I'm tripping over my words <laughs> we um had spent that time in South Lake Tahoe with Steven's family if you are new to my channel if you've been here for years you'll he have heard me say this every year on 4th of July but if you're new um or newer we both of my family and my husband's family has um cabins up in Tahoe his family's on South Lake mine is on North Lake so we always try to kind of split this week between our two families because both of our families always come up here every year for 4th of July so we had spent the first half or the week previous we went up with his family and I marked driving over to be with my family this day um, my family does a huge family reunion for my dad's side of the family so it's like a super crazy fun time when we drove over we went to the pool um, 
hung out most of the day by the pool. I marked that in the evening. We did, um, we played bocce ball. We have some bocce ball courts at our place up there. I didn't have, of course, a bocce ball sticker, so I used a cap and a wine glass combined, which I thought was really cute <laughs> to mark bocce ball. Um, I also love that pool day sticker from White Deer Stationery and the truck. We didn't drive in a truck, but it just felt summery to use a truck <laughs> for this spread instead of like a regular car. Um, and then at the very bottom, I marked um, that we had our 4th of July barbecue, which is a big like combined barbecue that we do with all the other um, people who have uh, condos up there, like our whole complex comes together and do it. It's like a giant potluck. It's super fun. Um, I love that. <laughs> There's like, yeah, just a bunch of bunch of fun stuff happening. Um, we I also marked with like a sticker, a sun sticker. I put behind that or behind the floral smoke that we also did sunset out on our dock there, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, for some reason, there weren't fireworks this year, and they were going to do like some drone light show or something, which I was not <laughs> Like, to me, that's so depressing to swap out fireworks for drones, but I don't know, neither of them happened for whatever reason, so we just, you know, had some wine and hung out and sunset on the dock instead. Um, okay, moving on to um, Tuesday. Um, I marked one meeting. I was working this week up in Tahoe, same with my sisters and their boyfriends and my husband. We were all working remotely up in one of the cabins, our family, since our whole family, extended family is there, we rent a couple cabins and my family was in one. Um, so I marked my meeting there with a 2OB sticker, <laughs> um, that little fancy box. And then underneath, I wrote that after work, we laid out by the pool. Again, that box is from 2OBs. And then um, all the icons that I'm using for the most part are from White Deer Stationery, except for these cute little crocs are also <laughs> from 2OBs. Um, that's from that kit from last year. I marked that my cousin's uh, four-year-old son and then one of, there's like another, there's another four-year-old little girl who's at our condo that we had, we know her dad and you know, blah, blah, blah. They had a little bocce ball date this evening. Cutest thing I've ever seen. Two four-year-olds playing bocce ball together with like my whole, all my cousins who are like all, you know, most of a 20s, 30s, couple teenagers. <laughs> They're just like holding their own so adorable it was so so cute they both were both the four-year-olds were wearing crocs so I thought that was very cute <laughs> to mark um to mark that little bocce ball date I also marked that we had a barbecue that night and we did s'mores you know the whole fourth of July week thing and then at the very bottom there um I thought I already did it but I marked that we um played taboo we have a bunch of board games up in our condo up there we hadn't played that one in a while but we pulled that one out and it was really fun um we do a lot of like I don't know we play a lot of spoons a lot of bs what's the other board game we play a lot I don't know can't remember off the top of my head but definitely definitely lots of board games <laughs> normally happen this week um, okay, so moving on to Wednesday, I'm marking here that I had five meetings, so many for what was supposed to be a shutdown week for my company. Oh, well. <laughs> um, again, I'm using that same fancy box from 2OBs, and I'm kind of, I use that all throughout the week, and then I just kind of switched up the icon that I used um, and the deco around it. But it's like consistent, but not exactly the same, if that makes sense. Um, I also marked right here that we did a pancake brunch over at like my family's actual cabin, not the one we were staying in, but like the one that we actually own <laughs> um, with all my cousins and stuff. I was able to kind of steal away for a little bit, a little bit in the middle of all those meetings to go do a little pancake brunch, which was nice. I used that super cute tray sticker from two old bees. It's funny. Most of my cousins on that side are um, males and it's very different when you grow up in a family of all sisters versus like having a pancake brunch with a bunch of like 20 men in their 20s is like a whole nother ball game to like fight your way to get a pancake <laughs> um okay so after work I marked that spent a little time reading on the beach and then um went and were in the hot tub for a little bit and then right here I'm taking such a cute boat sticker and like a little cocktail sticker again from White Deer Stationery um to mark that we did a little um like cousins cruise 
we were just taking basically my cousins and I took the boat out and boated over to Sunnyside which um, if you've never been to Lake Tahoe there's a bunch of like bars and restaurants that are right on the lake that you they have like docks so you can boat and park your boat at the dock and then go get drinks or food or whatever you want I, I'm sure most places that are on the water have places like that not a new concept but um we went and did that actually we did that on Thursday night and I accidentally mixed it up so I'll talk about what we did this night on Thursday um and then I also marked that we played um Ticket to Ride which was a new to me like board game so fun <laughs> totally recommend um it had sounded really complicated but my sister had played with my cousin's uh, sometime when she was up in Tahoe with them like this year previously she was like it's so fun so I was like okay let's do it it's like me one of my teenage cousins some of my other cousins my age my husband one of my aunts all of us had such a good time like fun for all ages for sure um, definitely recommend that one um, moving on to Thursday again marking meetings same kind of thing that I did on Wednesday and Tuesday um, just switching up the icons. This it was an entirely white deer stationary icon spread. Um, I maybe there's like one cross by Tally icon, but for the most part, um, I just felt like when I was doing when I was starting to do the spread, I was really really struggling with the florals that were included. They're really small, and there wasn't a lot of variation in like sizing and flow and direction. All those things that I talk a lot about. Um, when I talk about floral sheets, so I was really struggling at first because I feel like it's been a bit of a crutch for, not a crutch, but I've really enjoyed doing creative things with florals and having that kind of be the focus of a lot of my spreads. So when I, I love this kit so much, I knew I wanted to use it, but when I started struggling with the florals, I was like, okay, this spread shift in mindset. I'm not going to make it all about the florals. I have so many cute, like summery white deer stationary icons. I'm going to try and make those the focus and I'm going to have the florals just be like soft and subtle and little background elements to help distribute color, but definitely not the creative part at all. So that's kind of, I don't know if you're, you'll be able to tell, but that's kind of the like mind shift set I had to make or mindset shift I had to make to make this um, like work for me and be an an enjoyable thing. Um, okay, anyway, so moving down, I marked after work, we did a sunset cruise. Again, this is what actually happened on Wednesday. This was the day we actually went to Sunnyside, whatever. But that was just, again, with my cousins. Once the sun was setting, we grabbed some beers, headed out to the boat, and just drove around on the lake. It's so beautiful on Lake Tahoe around sunset. The water is always super calm. And I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a more beautiful lake scenery <laughs> at like anywhere. It's incredible. Um, and then, yeah, so that was really fun. I actually come back later and switch out the little, um, that divider that I use throughout the week is from Pan Ever Design, but I actually switched it out to be like a wave divider, which I thought was really cute underneath that boat. Um, okay. But rest of the day, Thursday, we actually ended up packing and driving home this night. We were going to stay through the weekend, but I was feeling <laughs> ready to go home. Um, <laughs> we had been up there for a long time and I was um, recovering still from, I had had COVID a couple weeks before and I was just like still hardcore feeling the fatigue and I was just kind of like ready to go home. <laughs> so we packed up and left. I think one of my sisters had already left and my parents were saying they were going to leave early too. So I was like, okay, let's just head out. Um, I marked, we had in and out on the way back with a cute little fry sticker, mostly just so I could use the fry sticker. Well, not that that's why we went, but that's why I marked it. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much wraps up Thursday. By the way, I used the star dividers from Sadie stickers to line all the columns, like how I've been doing with the pretty pink co ones. And I think it looked so cute with the stars. Like it was dainty enough that it didn't feel too intrusive, but still themed and patterned. And I love how it turned out. I think it looks awesome. Okay, moving on to Friday. Um, once a month, I always, you've probably, if you've watched any Plan With You before, you've heard me talk about how I have to send out this one, like, report uh, once a month on Fridays that just is so time-consuming and very important and blah, blah, blah. So that's one of the few things 
um, that's purely work related that I do like to mark in my planner. Um, but I use the super cute Crafts by Taui calendar sticker that I'm obsessed with and she does offer um, in her shop as a standalone sticker now. So love that. And then of course just tons of the like star deco, hanging deco, everything. Um, I also marked that this was a big like gardening rehab day. <laughs> I don't know exactly everything that I did in my garden, but having been away from it for like a week, um, I just needed to go out there and do a lot of watering and pruning and whatever else I'm sure fertilizing. I don't remember, but just spent a lot of time making sure that everything in my garden was doing all right after being gone. Um, I also marked filming a plan with me here. Again, all white or stationary icons, a lot of new ones, um, which is fun. I like having a bunch of like new and exciting stickers to mark all the kind of same old, same old boring stuff that I do. And then right down here, I, I mark getting Mr. Pickles for lunch. I do that a lot on weekends. Um, and then I marked that we, Stephen and I just got takeout and we played Mario Kart with a Switch sticker and a little Chinese takeout box. Um, yeah, we just needed, even though we'd been together for a week, we just definitely were happy to be able to like be at home and have some alone time, take it easy and just sit on the couch together, I think. Um, and then adding in some more of those star borders around the columns. Again, I think that looks so cute. Let me know what you think if it looks like, I know it's a lot, but, um, oh, I just must have switched out the wave there, the divider on the boating for a wave. So I don't know, <laughs> just a little, little zoom in to show you that I made the update. Um, and then here, I don't love how I marked this, so I kind of sped through it really quickly while editing, but, um, I just marked that we had a lazy day, didn't do a lot during the day here. I marked introvert recharging. Um, again, this is like a big family reunion and we had just kind of been with family for like a week. A lot of people in my family are like super extroverted, super high energy, um, not the, which is a good thing. And, you know, I'm definitely a social person too, but <laughs> I was very happy to like do nothing on Saturday. Again, I was pretty fatigued from having COVID a couple weeks ago. So I just needed some time to just like not work, not, not do anything during the day and just like chill, hang out. I marked that I did a lot of filming, catching up and that our gardeners came, um, during the day on this day too. Um, so that was kind of the morning, lazy morning, lazy afternoon. And then in the later afternoon, um, I went and met some of, well, Stephen and I both went and met some of my friends at a brewery. This is the only, uh, Crafts by Tally <laughs> sticker that I, uh, icon that I used in the spread. I ha whenever we do like a, a beer tasting, I have to use that sticker. It's too perfect. I love it so much. I feel like I often, well, I guess we go beer tasting a lot, but like do beer flights a lot, but <laughs> I feel like a lot of times it happens to line up on weeks where I'm doing all white dress stationary icons and I'm like, screw it. I'm adding in just one foiled icon <laughs> because I have to use that sticker. Um, anyways, layered that with one of the foiled, um, stickers from Pretty Pink Co or Paper Trail Plans. I'm not sure which, which I like to layer over top all of the midi boxes and all of the non whited out boxes from sticker kits. And then at the very bottom, I marked that my friends came over. We got pizza, drank wine, lots of wine, probably a little bit too much wine. And we played Rummy Cube. Um, if you watched my double plane with me from like maybe a month ago or something where I went to Hawaii, these were my girlfriends that I went to Hawaii with. Um, so, and that's when we learned Remy Cube and I went and bought Remy Cube <laughs> after that trip. And whenever, um, we made plans for them to come over, I was like, oh, we're, we're playing Remy Cube. <laughs> so that was fun. We just had a little pizza, wine, Remy Cube night. And Steven was just, you know, hanging with the girls that night. Okay. Um, moving on to Sunday. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in on my picture here. Cause I don't know what I'm putting down. Gosh, I took the grainiest picture. I think filming and editing. Oh yeah, look, it's already done. <laughs> um, okay, marked filming and editing. Again, same trick as always, making sure that I'm using a foiled sticker to put over top the non, or like a foiled whited out sticker to put over top non-whited out boxes. Um, I got 
more Mr. Pickles for lunch. I used a watermelon. I didn't get watermelon. But again, I was just trying to use a bunch of fun summery stickers for this kind of summery spread. And then it was kind of like a bit of a back to reality situation. We had to go to the grocery store. I think we had done lots of eating out this week. Um, after being gone for a week, we did not go to the grocery store. We just ate out a lot this weekend um, and then had a big, big grocery night. Um, but while we were doing that, we also went out and had a little burger date that night too. So that was nice. Um, I, again, used a strawberry from the kit and one of those fry stickers. So cute. And um, did a little box layering combination with the Panda Bird Designs um, box from the Gather Layer Collection. Those have been, those are out of stock, I think. And I, Jess, if you're watching, put, put them back. <laughs> I need to pick some up. I am out, I think, of my rose gold or light gold. I can't remember. And almost out of the other one. So, um, love those and need more. <laughs> um, okay. Laying down again, the, um, what you call it, the dividers. Um, I have to trim them a little bit because they're intended to be used at the bottom washi side and they overhang a little bit over top the, um, over top, you know, if you lay them on the columns, but it's all good. I just trim them here. I'm showing you too. I, um, add it in. I had all of these like star clusters and star deco, all of these tiny little accents. I used a ton of them throughout the spread, but whenever I was done, I just went and added it even more because I don't use that. I wouldn't use that on a regular week. And I also just love, love the look of spreads that have like little tiny twinkles and dots and stars and stuff like that everywhere. So I just went and added a bunch of them and I think it looks so fun and so festive. So 4th of July, I love it. And so sparkly and foily. So um, this is the whole spread. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry it's gone <laughs> at you so late. But again, I keep saying this is my plan with me. Is if you're watching these kind of outdated ones with me while I'm getting caught up, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll try and do some that are more current for sure at this point since I am no longer um, at all going in order. So whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're staying well. Bye.